All right, what's going on, y'all? Broken Games HDR. So, got another video for y'all showing you how to uh, use your PS5 DualSense controller to play games on PC. So, the previous video I uploaded uh, this morning, that showed you how to put your PS5 DualSense controller in uh, Bluetooth, uh, in, in pairing mode, to connect it to your PC uh, via Bluetooth. But just doing that doesn't mean that your DualSense controller uh, will pretty much be picked up by every launcher like Steam, Origin, Uplay, and, and all the rest of them, right? That just means that your PC will detect it and your PC will, will pick up the inputs. That doesn't mean all the launchers will. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to play games using the controller with, uh, with Steam specifically through big picture mode. So here's the Steam main page, right? You open your open Steam, you go to the uh, main page, then you go to big picture mode, right? Big picture mode opens. Um, and then uh, what you do is you go to the gear icon at the top right, you click on controller settings. And so I don't have this down to a 100% science on what you need to check, but just to be safe, check all the boxes for controller support it, it won't hurt so check all the boxes right now what i tried to do is reset this back to the point where i first configured this but i couldn't really get it to to uh pretty much reset back to that but that doesn't matter i'll still i'll, I'll still be able to show you exactly how to do it so when you connect the controller as you can see it's gonna say uh sorry about that i went back that was the back button um so you're gonna see detected controllers it says ps4 controller because I pretty much uh, chose this to be a PS4 controller because obviously there's no choice to make it a, a PlayStation 5 controller, right? So I plug it out, you see it's gone. I plug it back in, I'm doing this through USB-C. You can use Bluetooth, of course. Um, and the controller should come back up. Okay, cool. Um, and it's being, it's weird. It's being detected as an Xbox controller, it said in the bottom right, but you know, you could select it to be a PS4 controller, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, you can calibrate it. You can calibrate some dead zones and stuff like that. There's preferences. Uh, you could like change the, the light color apparently and all it on all this stuff. Uh, but that stuff's not really important. I'm just showing you that what you want to do is go to define layout, right? So now when you get to this page, all of these should be blank, right? All of these inputs should be blank. At least it was blank for me. And you have to manually configure all of these inputs to the proper button. Now, I haven't actually tested out uh, all of these in a game. I've tested out to make sure the controller works in a game after this, but I haven't tested out every single button should be what it should be, if you get if you get what I'm saying, because uh, tertiary action and secondary action, you know, what exactly, what button is that exactly supposed to be? We obviously know what left shoulder button is, D-pad, go back, and primary button should probably be X, or A on an, on an Xbox controller, but I'm not sure what the tertiary action or secondary action should be. So those are kind of up in the air. You got to test those out, right? So right now I'm even doing this with the dual shot controller. I'm moving up and down with the dual shot controller, right? So what I'm going to try to do, let me try to reset all of them. Okay, I hit reset. Now I'm going up and down with the dual sense controller. Primary action, I'm going to make that X. Um, go back, I'm going to make that circle. See, see, but now it's actually asking me, do I want to exit? No, I want to make that circle. What the hell? Okay, hold on. Let me... Okay, now I clicked on it with my mouse, um, and now it allowed me to make that circle. Tertiary action, I'm going to just try to... Okay, so I guess I got to click on all of these manually. Because it's actually reading the input outside of me trying to make that the actual button. Okay. Go back, circle, tertiary, triangle, secondary. I guess I'll make that square. Start, let's make that the the, the button on the right. I, get, I think that's the menu button. Guide. Uh, what did I make that? I don't, think, I don't think the share button. Okay, I made that the share button. Back. It's weird because, okay, there's, there's go back and then there's back. I don't know what the hell the difference is supposed to be. But let's make that the touch. I can. I made that the touchpad, and then it actually went back. Awesome, love it. Okay, and I guess it just went back to default. But y'all kind of get the gist, right? Left, left stick, click. 
oh, that was click, my bad. Left stick click, that's actually when you press it down. Uh, right, st right stick click, push down the right, uh, the right analog. Left shoulder, that's the, that's the bumpers. Right shoulder, D-pad up, y'all get the gist. Left stick X, that's the X axis, that's left and right, that's ho so that's horizontal. And uh, left stick Y, that's, that's up and down. Um, one thing my teachers used to tell me to remember this is Y is high or Y is sky, something like that. <laughs> but pretty much you get the gist. Left trigger, that's the trigger buttons at the back, and then so on and so forth, you can, you can configure the rest. Okay, now let me go back and just launch a game. And uh, the game I had open uh, that I tested this out on so far was Resident Evil 3. Simple game to open up. Yeah, my, um, hopefully my, um, let me just hit recording. Hopefully my OBS still should be recording this screen, but I hit record on, uh, on NVIDIA experience just to make sure. So, yeah. It's working so far both analog and d-pad x button is the confirmation button circle is using as the go back button d-pad okay d-pad is apparent the touchpad the 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 other back button was apparently to go back to big picture mode so let me hit continue and uh, just load into the game and just hit some buttons Oh, come on. And for some reason, I'm here in the game. Um, of course, I beat this game already. So yeah, everything seems to be working properly. Everything seems to be working properly. Okay, square was... Whatever I made square, that takes me to the menu, so I would probably have to change that. Okay, that yeah, that's the dodge button. I know this isn't the best angle, but as y'all can see, I'm clearly doing this with the dual shock. Yeah, that all the directional buttons are working. Yeah, this is everything. Everything seems to be working, working properly. So yeah, um, I assume I would assume that this works okay with all the games in Steam. Um, I, I I would assume that if it works in one game in Steam through big picture mode, I assume it would work, uh, work with with work with everything. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. It's simple. It's not hard. Just got to go through. Uh, big picture mode and uh, Yeah That's it y'all. Let me know if y'all have any questions in the comment section hit the like button to support this video uh, So other people could see it support the channel uh, follow me on Twitter if you're not links in the description and uh, Yeah, all right. I'll catch y'all later. Peace subscribe if you're not